Change your mind? You know, I must have one of those faces you just can't help believing. <laughs> Is anyone at home? No. Oh, there's someone sitting up in the window. No, there isn't. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh, that, that's my mother. She's an inv invalid. An, inv an invalid. It's practically like living alone. Oh, I see. If this girl, Mary and Crane, were here, you wouldn't be hiding her, would you? No. Not even if she paid you a lot of money? No. <laughs> oh. Well, let's just say for the sake of argument that she wanted you to gallantly protect her. You'd know you were being used. You wouldn't be made a fool of, would you? I'm not a fool. I'm not capable of being made a fool. I know. Not even by a woman. It's not a slur on your manhood. I'm sorry. Let's just put it this way. She might have made a fool out of me, but she didn't fool my mother. Well, then your mother met her? Could I talk to your mother? As I just told you, she, she's confined. Yeah, but just for a few minutes, I, uh, that's all. You know, there might be some hint that you overlook. You know, sick old women are usually pretty sharp. Mr. Arbogast, I, I ex explained to you now Just that... for a moment, I wouldn't disturb her. I think I've talked to you all that I want to. Yes, but just for one moment. No, I think it would be much better if you left now. Okay. You know, you'd save me a lot of legwork if you'd just let me talk to her, but do I need a warrant for that, too? Sure. All right. Thanks, anyway. It's Arbogast. Is Lila there? Can I talk to her, please? Hello, Lila. Lila, listen, Marion was up here. Yep, she spent last Saturday night at the Bates Motel. It's out here on the old highway. I even know what cabin she was in, cabin number one. Well, the young fellow that runs the place said she just spent the night, left the next day. That was it. No, no, not exactly. Well, I did question him, believe me. I think I got all there was to get. I'll just have to pick up the pieces from here. Well, I'll tell you, I don't feel entirely satisfied. See, this boy has a sick old mother. I think she saw Marion and talked to her. No, no, unfortunately, he wouldn't let me see her. Well, I was. I think I'll go back to the motel first. No, you stay there with Loomis. I'll be back in an hour. All right. Bates? 